Welcome to stage two of the tour of Croatia. And today we start in the town of Zibinic and head north up the beautiful Adriatic coast to Zadar, a distance of 204 kilometers. And this is the start today. The leader of the race, after a rather frantic bunch sprint yesterday, is Gregor Bolle, the civilian rider on the CCC Pulkovice team. A rather chaotic bunch sprint. But this is the scene today. Rather more sedate affair. A little bit less hectic at the start. Riders, no doubt, tweeting to friends and relatives. A few selfies there from the under-23 Italian squad. The only amateur team in this race. And the race has 149 starters. And that's the, the Jean de Rijk team. <coughs> the only team from the Netherlands there. They were up in the mix in the finale yesterday. Unfortunately, one of their riders came to grief. But some absolutely stunning cathedral, uh, sorry, scenery here. That's the St. James Cathedral. And Zibenica is located at the mouth of the river Kraka. It's the oldest native Croatian town on the eastern shores of the Adriatic. Some really, really stunning scenery. So beautiful, in fact, Croatia, interestingly, is the 16th most visited country in the world. And again, what a showcase this is for the race. But it's all about today. Race heads in a, in a southerly uh, direction. Head south, we're looping back and over the only climb of the day at 39.2 kilometers. That's the third category, Zarechevi. Then the race heads down and then follows the gently undulating terrain two hotspot sprints at Zadrakin and then Vodice before looping round to finish in Zadar. Again, on a little peninsula, that should be quite a technical finale, two uh, quite tight left-hand corners before the finish that opens up. But just look at these views, absolutely stunning. Bill Gates actually said of the area, this is a, one of his most favorite places to live. He's actually his most favorite place to live. There's a view of St. Michael's Fortress. Just take your time to uh, really take in these absolutely gorgeous sights. The Croatian flag they're flying. Study of concentration there for one of the Russ Velo riders. They're the team all in red. Primarily the field in this race, it's a 2.1 category on the UCI, 15 continental teams, three pro continental teams, and as I've already mentioned, one amateur team in the form of the under-23 Italian squad. But earlier on today, the field headed out again, basked in sunshine, and there's the glittering Adriatic. Of course, a few kilometers of neutral, as is normal for the riders, just to get the legs nice and loose before no doubt the hammer goes down at kilometre zero. Again, quite a different uh, look to the peloton we're used to seeing. You know, we're used to, we're used to the familiar sights of the World Tour and Pro Continental teams. But as I say, 15 continental teams from 13 different countries, including Ecuador, Ecuador, Belgium, the Netherlands, Norway. Even We even have a team from Israel in this particular race. So a fantastic roster of countries and teams. And the riders on the front there from the Veranda Williams team. That's the Belgian squad. And this was earlier on today. The speed's very, very high. Again, Russ Velo on the front. The first obstacle of today's route was at 39.2 kilometers, and that was a King of the Mountains. Only a third category affair. Nothing quite as difficult as yesterday. And that's the city of Primo Sten. Another one of the tiny little islands. Well, it's actually slightly linked to the land there. But uh, when you look at the, uh, the coastline, the Adriatic coastline, there's over a thousand different islands spread along the coast. And today's route will take the riders in a gentle northwesterly direction to the finish in Zada, which is itself the fifth largest city in Croatia. There's Lake Dragon's Eye. And we are, must admit we are getting some absolutely wonderful aerial shots just take a moment or two just to feast your eyes on this rather spectacular scenery here. A part of the world that uh, I certainly will be visiting after this commentary and then spending some more time here. Absolutely gorgeous. And very, very good for racing and cycling too. Some absolutely stunning roads. And tomorrow we head into the mountains. Just a gentle, well, just an undulating affair for the riders today. But there's the clear blue seas. 
Just makes me want to take, take a dip, to be perfectly honest with you. That's the city of no Rokodnika. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Magnus, uh, before we start the racing, it is. I mean, you've been here. You raced a few years back uh, in Croatia. It was a different uh, <laughs> a few edition. Years of, a few years is an understatement, I think. Okay. Then. <laughs> okay. 20 years ago, Magnus, you raced here. But, but again, apart from the racing itself, it was. I mean, uh, here we are. Well, we'll talk about uh, the scenery again, but this is the uh, some shots from earlier today. We had two attackers attack reasonably early in the race. It was a very, very fast start to the race. I said looping south before then heading back north inland and then dropping onto the uh, onto the coast to head all the way up. But we've got two riders clear as we see uh, another absolutely gorgeous shot. That's the National Park Cracker. The riders will be going through there. We're just skirting the edge of that a little bit later in the race today. I said various waterfalls. It really is quite sumptuous and beautiful. But the two riders we have clear, uh, we have uh, Van Sommeren, Steph Van Sommeren from Veranda's Worms, and uh, Taco van der Horn of cycling team at John de Rijk, the only Dutch team in the race. But look at that. I mean, Magnus, yeah, I mean, what were your memories of Croatia when you raced here all those years ago? If the memories aren't too hazy, that is. No, uh, I still remember it quite well, actually, because I had a very good uh, tour of Croatia that year. So. But yeah, exactly what we've been seeing on the images so far. It is an absolutely, you know, incredibly stunning coastline. And um, I was actually quite surprised when I got down down there. And obviously, I, I got down um, in a, you know, and, and did that race in just after a very turbulent time in 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 the history of of, of this part of the world. And uh, even so, you know. Um, it was still uh, incredibly beautiful, um, together with obviously some uh, some relatively sad memories. And uh, I remember going and coming into Split. Uh, we stayed a, stayed a couple of days in Split before we took the boat across to to Italy, and uh, just uh, seeing how destroyed the, the you know certain parts of that town was. But nevertheless, when you see these kind of images, um, it makes you want to go back and uh, visit the country again. It certainly does. So 20 degrees, we're going to head back to the racing in just a few moments' time.